So it's me again, coming back at you. Checking you out, see what's going on. Oh yeah, I was supposed to start off with music. Yes. Welcome to the show. Today's show, we have some interesting topics. The first topic is... The first topic is people who host their own shows. So yeah, you know, I like hosting my own show because um, I can uh, control the content, I control what, you know, I want to say. And when you have your own show and you grab your microphone and your video camera and you look up at the camera, you do your thing, you are control, control, and when you control your whole thing, then you can do anything you want on your channel. Yes, and the second topic is... Today's news and events. So we have protests, you know, sit in America, sit in there, sit in there, sit in there. I think if you stop sitting around Get your ass up and stop voting for millionaires. Stop voting for what you like now that you don't want to pay for later. Then you'll feel a hell of a lot better in life if we stop voting jobs away and keep our stuff in house. The next topic. Healthcare. Like I said, the next topic will be healthcare. So I once repeated one of the worst jokes I heard this year. And it's a healthcare joke. And it goes like this. Michael Jackson paid $150,000 a month for healthcare. No punchline. The next topic will be me. Actually, can I really run for president? So I've been telling people, and I actually am going to run for president. I, you know, I have no problem you writing my name in the bottom of your ballot. You know, whether you're a Democrat or Republican. Yes, if you don't want to vote for a millionaire and you don't know who to vote for, vote for me. Seriously, vote for me. Speaking of uh, Michael Jackson, I don't care what you say about Comrade Murray. You take every illegal thing he did out. The bottom line is he was paid to do one thing. Well, actually two things. Put Michael to sleep and wake Michael up. He only did half the job. 
And these bastards probably still trying to get paid. You know, and it's sad in this country when you pay somebody to do something and they fail and they still have the guts to stand up and try to lie. Two people in the room, one person came out, one was getting paid to be there, and the other one just wanted to sleep. You do the math. Next topic. The election. So the election is coming up. You got people surging to the front of the pack. Herman Cain. So Herman Cain is surging. Is this the world's funny way of us giving us a black from each side? It's like we had a black Democrat. Now let's have a black Republican. I still prefer to see Condoleezza Rice run for president of the United States of America. And then 20 years from now, oh, wait a minute. 10 years from now, you can have Halle Berry play her in a movie. So, um, I don't know. Uh, today has been kind of weird for me. Very weird. So, um, as we go through our everyday uh, life and we see different things pop up, have you ever noticed how many people are being killed in the streets of America? The next topic. Shooting. So, there are shootings. Everybody is getting mad and pissed off and shooting at somebody now. There are a bunch of people who died in Salon. And before that, there is a bunch of people who died in the rock quarry. And then before that, there's a bunch of people who died. And before that, there's a bunch of people who died. So I contemplated, it's like, if I was to flip out and be angry, who would I kill at my past jobs? I'm not going to tell you. The next topic. Does anybody buy bootleg DVDs anymore? So with all these movies they have on the internet, you can just watch them. I have my own bootleg theater. Everybody knows I got my own 215-inch screen and projector set up right there, beaming onto the wall, which I turned into a 215-inch screen. So the family will come by every now and then, and, uh, and if the kids have a kid movie, we'll all set the theater up, and the kids will watch the movie, and by the kids' reaction, then we'll know whether we want to pay money to see the kids watch the movie in the theater.
But then I got it personally for myself when I put myself in sex, sex, self exile. Damn, I said sex. Okay, speaking of sex, I do have a bootleg movie theater. And I remember we had a family member living here, and he told me, I wonder what it would look like if there was a porn on that screen. Notice how the beat came in off beat when I said porn on the screen. Porn. 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 See? I laughed at him, but then the thought did come to my mind. What would it look like if I had a porn on the 250 inch screen. So what I did was found a movie with a lot of nudity in it and put it on. You get the picture? Next topic. Sports, 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 sports. Praise Al Davis. Moment of silence for Mr. Al Davis. It's very odd. When you see two guys try to shake hands at the end of the game. Now, it was like a slap in the back if you ask me. Yes, Harbaugh looked like you slapped him in the back. It wasn't the handshake. It was the slap in the back. Final topic. So we go through life every day and we accuse and we blame. Most of the time we go through life not knowing who the other people we are that we accuse and blame. We find ourselves mad, angry, pissed off and upset and frustrated at everyone around us. But we never take the blame on ourselves when we are supposed to. Conclusion? We all can't be perfect. So we just gotta do the best we can to treat people with respect, the same respect in which we want. If I demand of you something I'm not willing to give you, you're not willing to give it to me. It'll be obviously, you can see it, obviously, you'll be able to feel it. It'll be obvious that I'm just bullshitting you. But to keep it real, I must treat you with respect if I want you to respect me. And it's easier to show somebody some kindness than to show somebody a finger, some disrespectful words, and to go all the way out your way to be rude. You know how hard it is <coughs> to go through a situation without being rude. Think about it. It is hard not to be rude. So in closing, respect those and try to do your best to be nice. Because if everybody's trying to be respectful and nice, there's no reason for drama. Bullshit. And hey, so I. <laughs> so I. So I suggest you relax and enjoy yourself. Because you've been too. I have to cough. <laughs> One. Two. Three.